This is example one for 13.1 lesson. So we're supposed to find the volume of the cone and we're going to show plugging in our values to the formula, then use the calculator. And round to the nearest tenth include labels. So when we're doing volume of cone, the first thing when you're doing these volume problems that you should do is just write down the formula. So the volume of a cone is one third pi r squared h. And remember that means it's just one third of the volume of a cylinder with the same sized base and the same height because it's one third of that and you learned that in the beginning. So really if you just know the formula for a cylinder then you just have to divide that by three to figure out the volume for the cone. So let's go ahead and identify our parts here. So the radius is two inches and the height is eight inches. So let's go ahead and plug our information into our formula. Remember that we can plug in our labels to help us remember what our final label is. And so r squared will be radius squared, so that's inches squared will be here. And then if we multiply that by another inches label, that'll be inches cubed because the height is eight inches. So two inches squared would be four inches squared, and then times another eight inches would be um, uh, 32 inches cubed. So I'll show you that here. So we're just going to plug it in one-third times pi, and then I'm going to put this in parentheses, two squared times eight. And then we can get to our exact answer with pi if we just multiply it here. So I'm just going to keep one-third pi, and then two squared following order of operations is four times eight. And then I can do eight times four is 32. So it's one-third pi times 32. And then our exact answer in terms of pi which I talked about in last week's lessons, is um, we can just go ahead, since it's a multiplication, we can do it in any order that we want. So I can do 1 third times 32. Since that'll be a repeating decimal, I'm just going to leave it as a fraction there. So 32 thirds pi. That's our exact answer in terms of pi, and that'll be inches cubed. But remember, we're not really interested in that. We want to figure out to the nearest tenth. So you can plug in your answer up here in the calculator, one-third times pi times four times eight. Or if you do it here, I would just put this in parentheses, 32 divided by three, and then hit enter, actually, so you don't have to use parentheses, and then just do times pi. And remember, to get pi on the calculator, it's just second, and then the arrow up button. Or if you're in Google, you can just type in pi pi. So when you plug that into the calculator, you're going to get the volume is approximately, I'm going to use a wavy equal sign because it is just an estimate to the nearest tenth, is about 33.5 when you round to the nearest tenth inches cubed. So make sure you include that label. So that was using actual pi, but if you use the, the um, estimate of 3.14, I just want to show you what the difference in the answer is. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this right here and it would be 32 thirds times 3.14. So if you actually just type that into the calculator, so 32 divided by 3 and then times 3.14, then you will get approximately 33 point, and you still get 33.5, but this one was 33.51 as the answer, while the other one, this one was 33.49. So that's what was in the calculator and it rounded up to the 33.5. But this one, the actual answer really was 33.51 and other stuff. So the answers are different. They're close enough that when you round it to the nearest tenth that you get the same answer. But I do want you to know that if you don't use actual pi, your answer is going to be a little off. But here it is acceptable for you to use 3.14 as pi. For part B, we're going to do the exact same thing. So let's identify our parts. We can see that this is labeled as the full length across, so that's actually the, the diameter is 8 feet. So to find the radius, it's half of the diameter, so the radius is 4 feet. So make sure you're not using 8 in your formula, otherwise you didn't think about that. And then your height here is 9 feet. So then in our formula, we're going to do V is equal to one-third pi times our radius squared, so four squared. This time I'm not going to put in parentheses. And 
times our height of 9. All right, now if we keep simplifying here, order of operations, we're going to do 4 squared first. And again, you can just type this into your calculator. That's fine. So if you want to use 3.14 as pi as well, then just type in this all into your calculator. Just be careful with the one-third. I would put that in parentheses. Type that all in and you'll get your answer. But what you'll do later is you'll be wanting answers like this, which is called in leaving in terms of pi. So it's good to get into the habit of just doing it like I'm going to show you here. And then it also helps you with order of operations. So order of operations, we're going to do 4 squared first, which is 16, then times 9. Now, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply all the numbers, 1 3rd pi, I'm sorry, 1 3rd, 16, and 9, and then put pi at the end to leave it in terms of pi. And what I can do actually is do this first. Since it's all multiplication, I can do it in any order that I like. So I'm going to do 9 times a third because 9 times a third is just 3. So this becomes, I'm going to do pi, and then I'm going to go ahead and multiply these two together. So it would be pi times 3 times 16, and then 16 times 3 is 48. So the exact answer is 48 pi. So that's left in terms of pi and that would be feet cubed because volume is cubed and so that is your answer in terms of pi 48 pi feet cubed and then we can type that into the calculator 48 pi and we're using actual pi here and so even though we're using actual pi since we're estimating we put wavy equal sign to show that we are estimating and rounding so it'd be about 150.8 feet cubed so this would be the exact answer this is the estimate of the exact answer, and this is going to be your even more rounded answer because you're not using actual pi, you're using an estimate. So I'm just going to type that whole thing in my calculator. So one third in parentheses times 3.14. I would suggest you do one divided by three, then hit enter, and then just times by all this stuff. Because if you just hit multiply after you hit enter, it'll take your last answer, which is the point three repeating times whatever you're going to put in there. So one-third and then times 3.14 times uh, 4 squared times, and you can write 16 instead of 4 squared if you want, times 9. And for this one, you actually get a different answer. You get 150.72, but we're supposed to round to the nearest tenth, so you get 150.7 feet cubed. So notice that is off. And like I've said in the pre last week that the more the bigger numbers that you multiply by pi the more your answer is going to be off so either the, of these will be acceptable I just encourage you when you're showing your work to show whether you're using 3.14 or you're using actual pi so I know which one to expect and that's it for example one